Good, away. Fonzo, turn. We're going. We're going straight away. Good. Play. Good ball. City, city, city. Good. Turn, City. Yep. Be sharp. Every rep. Good. That's the ball. Yeah, well, That's well, it. Well done. Yeah, to open with Lexington is a big matchup for us for this upcoming year. We've got a, a great group of guys for the upcoming season. We've made a lot of great additions, um, and I feel like we've got a really good squad going into this match. Uh, obviously, a Lexington team that's going to be organized, one that's got, got a lot of great players and an organization that's taking the right steps forward. So uh, an exciting one for the upcoming uh, home opener, especially in front of, of our fans, but also to open the, the campaign this year is going to be a big one. Yeah, I think, look, it's it's the first game of the season, so again, we, we obviously have a standard that we want to go in and win every game, of course, but we also have to remember it's the first game of the season here, there's a lot of new pieces, you know, we're very confident in our group, but at the same time, we know that to get to where we want to go, we have to be able to come and pull results um, and, and compete with the best teams across the league. I think when you look at a team who, you know, historically, you know, has a USL1 team, you know, is continuing to move up to USL Championship, has the structure, the framework in place, those are the type of teams we want to compete with, those are the type of teams that we're excited to play um, and then for us for our for our goals going forward you know if we are in a, a position to compete with those guys to go out and pick up points you know early on in the season you know that's going to set us out moving forward uh, in the right direction where we want to go yeah you know adding the right pieces is always important we talked about having a collective culture one that's very identifiable and i think those guys uh, contribute immensely to that culture that we want to create and then the quality on the field speaks for itself we've added uh, the right guys who are dynamic going forward guys who again for us defensively uh, shoring up those issues that, that we've identified in the offseason is important um, but for us I think that's the big thing is just getting a collective group of guys who's bought in to the way we want to play the culture of the club um, and who are going to contribute for for the entire organization going forward yeah any time in the preseason where we can get out and see our group play is is important for us we talk about doing things the way um, the right way for us you know focusing on our objectives our key qualities for players how we want to execute the game no matter the, uh, what the opponent is um, I think it was important to see a lot of groups guys and, and to see different guys on the field you know how those relationships begin to build um, how we execute in different moments of the game with different players on the field different systems and whatnot as we kind of enter the preseason is always a good good feeling for us and then to get a, a victory and to score some goals is always a, a, a fun part for us going into to the opener of course it's crazy to think, you know, last September when we started all of this, there was nothing to look to, you know, to make it to a final in our first season, to add the quality and caliber of players that we have, to have the, the front office, the coaching staff that, that we have it, it is something to be said for in terms of the hard work of the organization, the dedication of the people involved, um, and then a kudos to the players as well. They're the ones day in and day out, making sure that our community members, our partners, everybody feels involved. They are the backbone of this and we know that. And so for us to have players, to have staff members, and to have the entire organization behind that to give back to this community, to give back to our partners who believe in us, and then to go out and execute on the field. Uh, to look at where we're at now is, is a great ma massive step forward and I know we're continuing to look to build and, and this is just the beginning and we know we have a long way to go but I think that's, that's the important part is we've done so much so quickly um, and, and we're not done yet so I think that's, that's an exciting step for the organization going forward. Yeah, some things, you know, outside of winning is nice. You know, we talked about community is big for us. You know, being involved in our community, giving more accessibility, more opportunities, not only for our partners, for our fans, for the youth in our community as well is huge. Um, I think for us, it's, it's continuing to make an impact off the field with the guys that we've got. Um, we've obviously talked about wanting to host, you know, playoff home games is a big one. Give back to the community here, allow our group to come and support. We've had a great uh, support from the entirety of Southern Indiana. We want to make sure that our product is, is here and not on the road to give back to them. Um, but again, that visibility piece, that interaction with our fans, our partners, um, and the entire community is huge for us. And when you see that visibility piece, um, it's more than just soccer. It's an impact. It's a platform for us to come back and give back to Southern Indiana across the board. Yeah, I think the fan support is really what drives this club. You come to every single home game and, and the stands are packed. There's kids everywhere. There, there's loud, you know, cheering and excitement. And, you know, it's it's a place that within our league, you know, it, it's hit or miss. But for us to know that there's so much support, it's going to be a difficult environment for any outside team to come in and play. Um, it really speaks to the testament of what Southern Indiana is across the board and, and the culture and, and the support and the pride that they have for Southern Indiana. And I think when you match that with what we want to represent, and the quality we want to be on the field. Um, it's something that can show that the, there's an establishment long-term for, for this organization to be successful and for Southern Indiana to continue to grow.
yeah, you know, we, we say we, we want to have a product that's entertaining to play and to watch. We want one that's that's very interactive, proactive, and allows for players to have that creativity, that freedom to execute within the framework that we give them. You know, it's one that is very dynamic, you know, one that is going to be enjoyable for, you know, players who, who want to come in and play and compete every single day. But at the same time, we understand that it's got to be at the right intensity, the right organization, um, and within the right structure to go out and make sure that we execute day in and day out um, to make sure we're in the best position to win. Yeah, you know, the goal for from us from day one has always to go to the highest possible level we can, and, and we're committed to that, and we're committing to doing it in, in, in the right manner, of course. And so for us, we want to continue to get the right players in, uh, continue to get the right staff involved, continue to keep the right members of the organization involved. And as those things progress and as we do things the right way, we know that there's going to be opportunities to continue to move up. That's our goal. Um, and of course, for us, in a year's time, we, we hope that those things continue, but we understand the process. And we know that if we do things the right way, if we provide the right environment, if we take care of the players and do things in the right professional manner, that those opportunities will come. And at that point, you know, we want to continue to make sure we're ready to go and take advantage of those when they do happen. Just want to say a big thank you to all of our partners um, across the board with Southern Indiana FC. We we truly appreciate all the support. We know without all of our partners that this organization wouldn't be where it is. You know, the ability to support our players, support our fans, and support our community has always been a big initiative. Um, and due to the ability of our partners, the generosity, and, and the positive partnerships that we've created, we've been able to support and create more opportunities than, than we've had before. And so just a big thank you to everybody there. A big thank you to all the contributions and, and the ability that they've created for us. And we look forward to hopefully giving you guys the best product moving forward uh, for a long time to come.